All right, guys, check this out. We got a rare snake tonight. Look at that beautiful Laotian wolf snake. And we got a crate without even having to leave our area. Guys, there's a storm of brewing. Look this way. That's headed towards us. I uh, just got back to Hua Hin from Narati Wat. And uh, yeah, I didn't get to film much of that trip. A lot of it was uh, private, confidential, but uh, I hope I got to put out some good videos out there. And wow, it's too windy. Let's get in the car. But yes, I hope you enjoyed those videos. And uh, don't forget, oh my God, it's beginning to rain. Don't forget to check out Explore Herpetology. If you want to join in on an experience like that, a freaking elite herping experience where you see the snakes of your dreams, check out Explore Herp exploreherpetology.com. The link is in the description of this video. But without further ado, the rainy season has begun here in Hua Hin, so I'm sure there's going to be a lot of snakes active. So we're going to get out there into the field and see if we can find some cool stuff. All right, first snake of the night is one I wasn't really expecting to get and one which is definitely not right. Uh, this small banded cookery snake has this big chink in its spine around the neck, but appears to be acting normally. I mean, it's just moving across the road as a normal snake does. Uh, no blood in the mouth and is acting defensively. I did uh, handle it a tiny bit to see if it was okay before I started filming. But, um, you know, it's doing its tail curling mechanism, extending its hemipenes. It's definitely not okay, but uh, not to the point that I can't show it on the channel. Anyway, I'm going to uh, take this one in. You see it's responding completely normally. Uh, it's visible doing its tail curling mechanism and when I don't touch it, it just begins moving off the road with normal see but uh, i'm going to take this one home and double check if it's okay if it's moving well by later tonight or tomorrow I'm just going to chuck it back in the bush okay here's a familiar face and one that i don't think has been shown on the channel for quite a while malayan pit viper of course and uh, quite a nice one at that with a kind of tan coloration these have been absolutely crazy abundant around hua hin uh recently as the rains have begun to come in at the start of the rainy season so uh yeah, they weren't common before. It's on a whole nother level now, but just gonna shoot this guy off the road. Okay, I didn't catch the uh, it on film because it, you took both of our hands to catch it, but we just rescued this juvenile plumbius water snake uh, from the little drainage thing you see behind us. We caught a couple of these uh, on a little tour the other day with some clients, and there was yet another one trapped in here today. We also got a, a yellow spotted keelback juvenile trapped in one of these recently too so I've made it a habit to check them and again today we have a tiny incredibly cute little snake inside and this one is kind of a nice yellowish edge to the venter these guys don't always have that sometimes they can just be kind of plain underneath ah all right he's biting so I'm gonna let him go look at this really really beautiful Malayan pit viper caught just after that plumbius water snake lovely kind of beige coloration with strong patterning, uh, strong sort of triangles on the dorsum and speckling on the flanks, becoming almost pinkish on the sides. It's kind of an interesting hybrid, maybe a little bit, little bit between some Southern Thailand ones and the ones we get around here. It's a cool color scheme, but yeah, four snakes already so incredibly fast tonight. So uh, I knew it was gonna be a good night for snakes and it sure is turning out to be one. I hope it doesn't dry up here. Okay, maybe over the sound of frogs, you can uh, hear me. So we got a vine snake. We just went to walk up one of our usual pathways. It's become a bit of a familiarity, a bit of a habit around here, like a nice little path which you always find snakes on. And this vine snake's just sitting here, looking pretty. No need to disturb it, no need to pick it up. Just a great opportunity to look at this very elegant species in situ. Amongst the grass filled with frogs. All right, guys, check this out. We got a rare snake tonight. This is Davison's bridal snake, Dryocalamus or Lycodon, as it's now known, Davis Sonai. And uh, this is only the second one we found in all the months living in Hua Hin. You'll remember uh, that at the very end of one of my videos in February, February, we found a juvenile of this. But this time we got this beautiful adult, which has adopted 
the kind of creamish yellow bands and the dark chocolate colour coloration on the dorsum. It's really, really beautiful. And they always look more beautiful in real life than they do in the washed out video from my iPhone. But guys, check this out. I knew we were going to find a rare snake tonight. Like I just had a feeling that on our first night back filming in Hua Hin, after this period of really heavy rain, there was going to be something special out moving. And sure enough, we have one of Hua Hin's rarest snakes. We've now seen an equal number of these this year to Malayan crates, which I'd say are generally about as common, well, rather as rare as each other. But this one's so much bigger than the one we found the first time. Look at this. Like, obviously these get a bit bigger than this. I've seen some pretty huge ones in my time, but for a specimen around here, this is well and truly a large adult. And yeah, obviously such a docile species with such a lovely nature. These cruise around eating gecko eggs, I guess other lizard eggs and obviously small lizards and geckos themselves. But yeah, when I saw it on the road, I was just like, yes, yes. I knew exactly what it was when I saw it. It was just cruising around in this uh, stuff on the side, not crossing the road, just cruising upwards. And yeah, well and truly one of the better snakes you can find around the Hua Hin area. What a find, what a find. I'm gonna take some pictures of this one. Uh, maybe show it to the other guys if they're interested. If not, I'm just gonna let it go. But yeah, beautiful chocolate brown with yellow bands, Davison's Bridal Snake, lovely snake. Continuing on from that awesome Davisoni is the most beautiful Malayan pit viper of the night so far, and also the, by far the most offensive. This one's so yellow, absolutely stunning. It's, it's like a just an improvement on that one we saw earlier. S similar kind of more, but just more vibrant. Uh, definitely the most offensive too. Uh, I kind of shooed him out in the middle of the road with my boot because <laughs> there was a car coming and now he was like striking at everything and anything. And, these guys are usually quite placid, but this guy, certainly not. But yeah, I'm gonna shoo him further off the road with my boot. Man, snakes are moving tonight. Uh, me and Cass just went to the shops mid-cruise uh, and I've never seen a live snake along this highway. There's another Malayan pit viper right here. He's obviously made his way right across from the other side, but uh, he seems to have made it across safely as he's about to reach the embankment, so. Let's see that this guy gets off the road good and proper. Oh my God, I knew it was a good call to go and do another pass after going to the shops. Look at that beautiful Laotian wolf snake. Again, second one of the year out tonight. I had a feeling this was a rare snake kind of night and right here is another one of the rarest snakes in the Hua Hin area. Another member of the Lycanon genus, the wolf snakes. This one though, oh my God, that's the most vibrant yellow Laotian wolf snake I've ever seen in my life. And I've seen quite a few of these. Back when I was a kid, I lived in Tang. They were actually one of the more common species uh, around the edges of town. But here, complete opposite. And uh, yeah, they're certainly more beautiful than the ones in Tang. This one's absolutely ridiculous. Look at the vibrancy of that yellow. And I promise whatever you're seeing on the iPhone, it's better in real life. All right, Cass, take the camera. I'm going in. I'm going to sustain many bites. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> look, 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 look. I'm going to begin. You ready? Look, you can already see its mouth opening. Oh, okay. Fella has not bitten me yet. He's tempted a couple times, but let's get him in hand. Just thinking about it, thinking about it. Hasn't committed. A little open mouth every now and again. Oh, oh. <laughs> These are renowned for being some of the most like bitey little snakes in the region. These Laotian wolf snakes are without exception always the most nibbly. Oh, that's a really it's an interesting beetle that landed on me. But this guy hasn't managed to land a blow yet. A lot of open mouth activity, but let's just get it over and done with, shall we? There we go, there we go, but uh, uh, uh. 
And don't be mistaken, they're called wolf snakes for a reason. These guys have sharp teeth, man. Luckily, these are quite small. This is an adult. Ah! Ah! Yeah. Ow! He's found his mojo now. He's found his mojo now, this guy. Yeah, they have sharp teeth for their size. That's one thing I'll say for sure, but damn, another epic snake tonight. Let's see if we can add one more. I'm sure we'll get at least one more snake tonight. Oh, okay, all right, enough of this. You guys have seen enough of this snake now. Lovely Laotian and wolf snake, awesome. All right, I got Harold in the pass. We're about to go on sort of a, an explore herpetology wahin herping night. Not so much one of the private ones me and Cass do. This is a bit more serious. We're gonna go out west, check out some new sites that we haven't been to before. Could be a complete bust, but also could be good, so. Your thoughts? Uh, I want to see a snake, a crate, a crate. Well, that crate. would be good. Um, all right, let's get driving. Before we could even get out of our driveway, <laughs> before we can even get out of our driveway, can you stop it from going under the car, please? Okay. We got a Malayan pit viper. So this may be the only snake we see tonight. Probably not, but it could be. And again, couldn't even get two minutes away from our house without getting this little Piraeus crossing the road. I'm gonna keep these segments very short as this is not the focus of tonight's video, but pretty skinny one, this one with a kind of vertebral ridge going on. What did you say when we were in the car about 10 minutes ago? I said we were gonna see a crate tonight. And we got a crate without even having to leave our area. First Malayan crate since uh, I think February the 1st. February the 2nd, maybe. Oh my God, and it's a really, really chunky one as well. Like, big one. Down the part of the road I never usually drive. Okay, I've switched over to my head torch so I can easily handle and film at the same time. But yeah, it's crazy. After Harry's comments in the car about seeing a crate tonight, I was uh, saying that our crate sightings really dried up. It was one of the most commonly seen snakes in my first month or so here in Thailand, first couple months. And now recently, they've just not been around, but uh, yeah, this one has tinges of cream on the neck and not as much as some of the other ones we saw around here. It has a nice contrasty body. It still has the black markings between the scales. Like what you really want with these is to find ones with as little black between the scales and the white patches as possible, because that always makes them a lot more beautiful, a lot more contrasted. But this is kind of typical of the ones we've been seeing around here, although way healthier than the ones I've seen before. Like those ones are quite skinny compared to this girl here and also quite long. Not too much bigger than the ones we saw before, but uh, substantially a very healthy adult crate, which has been loving its diet around here. And I mean, this is just an awesome addition to the video. Look at that snake. I mean, crates are some of the best undisputed, the best snakes in Thailand and the Malayan crate while being the most widely distributed, is certainly loved a lot by us. What is it doing? Nice big head on this one. Trying to dig into the ground, are you? Interesting. Well, we haven't even got out of our road outside our house yet. We're close to the end, but not quite. So let's uh, continue with the evening. <laughs> Literally just as we were getting back in the car, I spotted this plum beer crossing the road up ahead. I saw just a small snake crossing, thought it could have been more hot eye. But we're already four species down and we haven't even left our road yet, which is slowing our ambitions for the night down considerably because we had some new spots to check out. But, you know, as always, our area is extremely productive. Yeah, I can help. All right, guys. Uh, so maybe wondering why nothing got shown for the rest of that night. And that's because uh, it was absolutely terrible. We found practically nothing. We found like a couple common snakes for the rest of that night. So you see, when I say we might find no snakes when we go to the new spot, sometimes it actually does happen. I know it doesn't happen much, but it actually does. But uh, it's the following day now. We're just knocking about in our yard here in Hua Hin. And uh, I heard the cleaning lady shout snake. Well, Cass did, and she called me outside and me and David went to see what was going on and check this out coiled up on the stairs of our gym in our complex was this massive oriental rat snake, Tias mucosa. This is like the same size as the one I got on the channel 
uh, a few videos back in, the, in a previous Hua Hin episode, the one with the Cobra and when we got one of these on the road, but yeah, can't believe it. Second one I found in my complex, uh, or has been found in my, in my complex, in the last uh, few weeks. I had a juvenile, which I uh, caught just in my front porch. I didn't film that one because there was no other video to fit it into, but I figured I could just fit it into the end of this video because, uh, you know, we had a little bit of space, a little bit of time to include some more stuff. And we've calmed it down since it's been caught. And uh, these are generally very flighty, very alert, but generally they don't, they don't like to bite too much. And this one hasn't bitten at all since we caught it. It's just very gentle. Now I'm not grabbing it or anything, just letting it hold on to me while it's tail while, with its tail while controlling its upper body. But yeah, this one's really thick in the middle. One of the biggest ones we've found since we've been here. We've had uh, our hands and I think five of these since we've been here and this one and the other one I showed on my channel. For sure the biggest, but yeah, I love these, man. I'm such a huge fan of the rat snake group. And I mean, look at that. You can detect this species. I mean, you can tell it apart from all the others by those black stripes it's got on its lips, you see on the face. But yeah, this is one of those species that you really get around like human habitations, like buildings, more than like any other uh, of the rat snakes. The Indo-Chinese rat snake's more of like a plantation open area species, but this guy just loves to hunt in and around people's houses. So we get a lot of call outs for this one. And yeah, this is the second one found in our yard, like in our complex of houses in the last few weeks. So. Yeah, amazing. Oriental rat snake, random spontaneous find when I was just uh, working in my room. Okay guys, so uh, we're just gonna release this one in the complex pound. No need to take any photos, no need to do anything more. It's probably been stressed out enough by this incident with us, but uh, hopefully now it can learn not to roam into buildings in our complex, uh, even my house. And I'm just gonna set it back in this pile of junk here. That's a big snake, no lie, so fast too. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. A lot of cool snakes in this Hua Hin episode. What a return it's been and I'll catch you next week, peace.